Hey guys, welcome back to Fatal Frame 3. In the last part, we were playing as Miku. We got the final purity stone and fought that hand woman in that altar place. We woke up, and now we're going to go in her room. Okay, good, you are awake. Miku. Foo you. Miku? Oh, n no, no, it's nothing. I just had another bad dream. Okay, so yay, we are uh, back into daytime. Wow, it came up. It took me a long time to come up with the words daytime, didn't it? Or word. Anyway, let's head back in our room. Are you in here? The slave's quarters is empty. Okay. Let's go ahead and go find her, because we got to have her research our crap for us. Come on. And now I'm kind of... Oh, hey. Good morning, Ray. Yeah, yeah, good morning, Ray. I, you know, I wish you could put a little bit more energy into your performance. Come on. Ray? Here. Ray, I was interested in myself, so I did some research on that lullaby. You were interested in it, too? Alright. We have Legend of Song. Oh, good lord. Twelve pages. Okay. Let's do this. In the mountains of the Mutsu region, there is an old lullaby that was only passed on to certain villages. Sleep, pre the sleeping priestess, verse one. All right, sleep, child, go to sleep. Sleep, child, go to sleep. If you cry, the boat you'll ride, the boat to the other side. Once you get there, the bib you shall wear, and you shall be punished should you fail to lie still. Within the same mountain chain, the song "The Sleeping Priestess" was only transmitted to a certain number of villages. The dissemination is thought to be dependent on elements such as the village's roads and location. And the usage of the word priestess implies this song is thought to have, have its origins in indigenous folk rites, given its method of transmission. As for the lyrics themselves, the opening line, Sleep, child, go to sleep, calls for the child into sleep. The next, pri the next part, If you cry, the boat you'll ride, the boat to the other side, uses words like boat and the other side, which is suggestive of banishment. It can be taken as a stanza of threatening, a threatening song, which is to frighten the child into sleep. The bib you shall wear can be understood to depict you will be dressed up to go. After, should you fail to lie still, the inclusion of the frightening words, you shall be punished, impress admonition upon the child. Perhaps, as the once ceremonial song changed in a lullaby, it metamorphosed into the threatening song so common in the Mutsu area. Sleeping Priest is verse 2. Sleep child, go to sleep. Sleep child, good, go to sleep. If you should wake from your slumber at night, great wooden stakes shall pin you down tight, lest the doors open wide, and the others that may, and the others that sleep wake too. The second verse develops in a very similar way and makes use of the same elements. If you should wake, threatens the child should wake during the lullaby. All right, should wake during a ceremony. The woken priestess or child will have her limbs pinned by stakes. These great wooden stakes may be a remnant of a religious phrase. That the last part, lest the doors open wide and the others that sleep wake too, there's a shift from familiar story centering on the priestess, child, to an uneasy end, both vague and large in scale. It is thought that this expresses religious fears, such as the dread of the underworld. Thanks, I'll borrow this for a bit. Alright, Legend of Song 1. You can ask me whatever you want, okay? Yeah, I still can't hear what you're saying. Um, I think she's going to be in her room. And that, I mean, we don't really have anything else to do. We just have film to develop, uh, to deliver to her. Okay. Let's go ahead and talk to her. Wait, where is she? Ugh! I don't think she's in there now. Where the heck did she go? Sit still, or at least tell me where you're going. Or at least tell me in a voice that I can understand. Okay, where are you? Did you leave? Oh! It seems like you're having a lot of nightmares lately. Yeah, you should... Yeah, you're one to talk. You right? Is there something? Alright, thank you. I was wondering if you researched this photograph. Okay, that one... Okay, that one, the one with the carpenters. I think I saw a similar photo in a collection of photos of shrines recently. I'll go look for it. Thanks. Alright. 
And that one. Are these tattoos right? Alright. I mean, these are tattoos, right? Well, alright, I'll see what I can find out. Thanks. And... Understood. I'll let you know if I find anything. Wait, what? Didn't I have four? Oh, I'm sorry. I blanked out for a second. I still can't tell what you're saying. Okay. Aha, we have something on the counter. We have mail. Alright, uh, come on. Letter on the kitchen counter. Looks like we got some K. Okay. Letter from K6. Dear you, the cassette tapes I've written... I had restored are finished now, so I'm sending them. My tape player broke, so I can't listen to them, but apparently they were in pretty bad shape, so even though they've been restored, they may be hard to hear. In the dream I had the other day, I saw Mio deep in the manor. It looked like she was after her miss missing sister, Mayu. I guess it has weighed on me. When I wake, the pain and the tattoo spread, just like the story says. If I don't hurry, I may also go missing, like the urban legend says. This may be it for my investigation. Once I give, get off the mountain, I'll give you a call. Regards, K. Okay. okay. Two old cassette tapes. Alright, the same dream two. And the same dream three. Alright, so is there anything else to do? I mean, now I'm kind of stuck. I don't really know what else I need to do now. This is one of the problems that I have with the game, is that they kind of leave you hanging and they don't really tell you any concrete things what you need to do sometimes. Okay. So I had all that film developed, and, uh... Hey! An old film reel! I don't remember seeing it before. Could it be used? File, film, unknown. Okay. Uh, I honestly forgot that was there. <laughs> I just kind of luckily stumbled on that. Uh, what's, what is this? Uh... Okay, it's like storage. Uh, okay, nothing new. Alrighty. I don't really know what I'm doing, but uh, I don't really know what I'm doing. So yeah. Is there anything in here? Nope. Good. Okay. Any mail down here? I doubt it, but I'm going to check anyway. Okay, no. Alright. Hey, wait a minute. Ray's wearing shoes, unless they're like slippers or something. You're not supposed to be wearing shoes. And I know that sounds really weird for me to say that, but if you know anything about Japan, then you should also understand why she shouldn't really be wearing shoes, unless they are slippers. But I think they look more like slippers than actual shoes, so maybe she's okay. Um, I guess I'll go look around here, maybe, I don't know. I mean, I don't think just listening to those tapes will change the time of the day, you know? So I just want to go around and search a little bit. Okay... Nothing. Oh, okay. There's a book with a B Buddhist image that resembles a Buddhist image in the photograph. All right. Rituals and statues. This statue is from a derelict, derelict temple in the Akita Mountains. It is standing upright, but seems to be holding something like reins in its hand, making a very unusual Buddhist statue. The temple appears to have been neglected for many years, and both the ceiling and floor fell in. The books were completely decomposed. Upon investigation, a small amount of blood was found on the statue, and there were also traces of the same blood on the floor of the temple. It appears some kind of folk ritual or sacrifice may have taken place here. No oral tradition or documents related to the temple are left in the surrounding mountain villages, so the details remain a mystery. Huh. The ceremony room. So it looks like it was more just the sacrificing room, or the cutting people up room. Anyway, don't know why I'm up here. I'm just kind of looking through everything to make sure. Uh, okay, nothing. Why would you not bring your flashlight? But whatever. Alright, now I'm going to head back into the room. And, um, yeah. Maybe I'll go talk with Miku, too. Because I think that was the last photograph that I needed to have developed. And she, she just refused to do it. For whatever reason. And I'm sorry, I know I'm wasting time. But, oh well. Gotta show everything. Oh, wh where'd you go now? Quit disappearing. It's freaking annoying. Sit still, slave woman. You're not supposed to move. You're not allowed to move. Except when I order you to. Okay. Anyway. Be in your room. There you are. 
Always sitting on your dang bed. It seems like you're having a lot of nightmares lately. I know. Are you alright? Lately, all I can think about is the past. Good for you. I don't I care. Do my work. Lately, oh, shut up. Okay, I get it. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Like back when I was a child. Ugh. Okay, I get it. You want to ramble on? Fine. That's a good way to scare me off. The most hor the scariest thing about this game? Miku rambling incoherently. <laughs> Screw ghosts. And, like, rituals and demonic stuff. This freaking Miku rambling is the most annoying and horrible, like, horrifying thing. Good lord, I can't talk. Okay. Uh, is there anything that I can do? Okay, here, let's just listen to these tapes. Okay. Same dream, two and three were the ones we got. Yes, I, I don't want to sleep ever again. There were a lot of people in the courtyard. The people, they, they were tying this person up with ropes. And, and then they wrapped them in white cloth. They were burying them. But, but it looked like the one being tied up seemed to be doing it voluntarily. Afterwards, they, they put a big rock on them. A big log, like a skewer. There's a song. It's coming from inside the manor. <laughs> Children are singing and laughing. At first, uh, at first, I saw my wife. I just wanted to see her one more time. I went inside. So tired now. So, so tired. The snow. I can hear it. I can't make out what they're saying, but, but I can hear something. It's the same dream. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. It's, it's not the same. It's different somehow. <laughs> All right. I'm going further in. They're, they're calling me. I can hear their voices. No, no. I, I can't... I can't tell what they're saying. It's, they're just calling me. Now, it's snowing. There's a, there's a big, quiet manor. It seems like... Like there's a funeral, and everyone's face is hidden. It, 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 uh, uh, wait, wait. I'm going in deeper. Deeper. It's, it's almost suffocating. I, I, I can't breathe. <laughs> I didn't do anything. She did it. No, no, no. It, it can't be. Help, it's not me. It's not my... I... 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 Well, looks like listening to those things really did do it, but, ugh, that last one. Um, something that I noticed, a pair of those cassette tapes had people talking about people going and finding their wife inside the manor, and... Uh, Ray, for some reason, I can't sleep either. Okay. It's raining again. Can you develop my photo? It's raining again. Nope, guess not. Okay. Um, a pair of them had people talking about how they were going to see their wife, or they saw their wife inside the manor. And 
Um, Ray started having this dream after you died. And Miku was having the dream because... Well, I'm not going to say because, because I don't know, but... Every time, or a lot of the time she wakes up from her dream, she mentions her brother Mafuyu. And Kay is having, is in the dream, and he constantly talks about how he's looking for his niece. And, um, Yoshino Takigawa, remember the girl we were fighting earlier on? Um, she was in the manor, and she had lost her family. So, it looks like one of the most common ways, or it looks like the reason why all these people are having this dream is because of the death of a, lo a loved one, if you've noticed. Mio. There we go. Now we're in hour eight. Something has been caught in the photo. It was a promise, my Okay. And all on the barred door or to the cell are two old style locks. The symbols light and shadow are carved respectively in on each of the locks. The keys must be somewhere in the manor. How do you know? Mew. It's okay. I'll be back soon. Yes, we shall return. Okay, is there anything in here? Nope, okay. So it really is just that one room, huh? Uh, I think I see an item over there, actually. Nothing here. Oh, wait, no, it's the base of that candle. Uh, okay. Something inside. Ooh, a stone mirror. Wow, okay. Stone mirror for you right in there. Awesome. Okay, so we're obviously playing as K again. Um, now let me see here. Uh, we got some points. Ray built up some points, so let's see. Can we buy anything? Capabilities. Ah, sensitivity. Let's go ahead and grab that. Can really use that. And then I'm gonna get some range, because his camera really blows. <laughs> so weak. Okay. Oh, whoopee. Going down. What fun. Okay, looks like we got something on the wall here. Okay. This is a pinwheel-like stone slate on the wall. Perhaps it is a contrivance to unlock the door. Space. Okay. There is a space in the center to insert such a plate. Or slate. Okay. Can't do anything there. Alright. Looks like we gotta go back. We gotta find that thing. Whatever it is. Ugh. <sighs> Alright, so, uh, is there really nothing else we can do in here? There's nothing at all. Aha, there's a door. Covered in seals. I don't want to come in here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. Okay, okay. We're at 19 minutes. I think we're going to end it off because I know that this is going to take forever. So, I will see you guys next time where you can learn why I am so terrified of that room. See you guys later.